Welcome to Every Day with Jesus for October 24th. Then he arose. The scripture is Matthew 8, verse 24 to 26. Let's look that up. All right, we're in Matthew 8, and the chapter title is Jesus Calms the Storm. This is a great story. So Matthew 8, verse 23. Then he got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came up on the lake, so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. Isn't that a great story? Then he arose. Missionary Amy Carmichael, whom I just love, often sent insights to her workers from her own daily devotions. One day she told them how she had been helped by two phrases in Matthew 8. And suddenly a great tempest arose, and then he arose. She pointed out that when the storms arise, that's when Jesus arises to deal with them. There are almost always waves, Amy wrote. Now and then we have times of quietness, little lulls, I used to call them, but far more often the wind is blowing from one quarter or another, and so there are waves. But that is not the whole story. No, that is not the whole story. The storms and the waves are a part of life. They arise. But our Lord also arises to deal with them, to help us, to protect and navigate us, and to accompany us, and to work on our behalf, and to turn the storms into streams of mercy. That was so good. I love it. She loves it that suddenly the storm came and then he arose. That's really great. And that is something that we all just need to keep in mind that there are going to be storms, right? You can't just really pray for a life of no storms. I mean, it's a sinful world. So we're going to have storms all around us every day, sometimes every hour. But what does it say? He waited until the storm was there and then he arose. Jesus isn't going to come and help us and appear to us before the storm, before the crisis, right? But when we're in the middle of the storm, we can just cry out to him like the disciples did. You know, they went and said, Lord, we're going to drown. And what did he do? He came to their rescue. He totally stopped everything. And I love it too that just with his voice, with his words, he can make creation stop. And I think that's amazing too. We often forget how powerful. He is, and just with his words, he was able to stop the winds and the waves. So if he can stop all that on a boat for them, surely he's going to care about what you and I are going through and whatever storm we're in, and he's going to help stop those winds and waves. So just cry out to him today, and I hope you have a peaceful day in the midst of your storm. See you tomorrow. You can order your own copy of the Every Day with Jesus devotional book by going to davidjeremiah.org or by calling Turning Point at 877-998-0222. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.